Time is running out on Capitol Hill to avoid a government shutdown. If there's no deal by 12.01 Friday morning, the government runs out of funding. Eyewitness News reporter Jan Carabello is live in the CBS3 News Center with what's complicating a deal. Good morning, Jan. Jim, good morning. And Diane just mentioned a little bit about this. A lot needs to get done on Capitol Hill. As you mentioned, there's the looming government shutdown and debate over the debt ceiling. There's also bills involving the president's agenda, including infrastructure and social programs. All of this work has now led the president to change his plans for later today. President Biden has canceled his trip to Chicago today, instead choosing to work on moving his legislative agenda through Congress. The president is playing his role on getting these pieces across the finish line. Democratic leaders will try to pass two bills this week, including a trillion dollars for infrastructure and 3.5 trillion for social programs like child care and paid family leave. President Biden met with two key moderates at the White House yesterday. Senators Kirsten Sinema and Joe Manchin have concerns about the price tags. The president felt it was constructive, felt they moved the ball forward. But progressives are worried social programs will be left behind. Washington Congress member Pramila Jayapal tweeted, It's not the infrastructure bill that may be the Build Back Better package down the road. We're going to deliver the entire Build Back Better agenda. Reserving the right to object. Meantime, Republicans blocked an attempt to raise the debt ceiling for the second straight day. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen warns of dire consequences if it's not raised by October 18th. And our country would likely face a financial crisis and economic re recession as a result. And a more urgent deadline here 800,000 federal workers will be furloughed on Friday if Congress doesn't pass a measure to fund the government. It's extremely nerve wracking. The Watersons had to rely on food banks to get by during the last shutdown. It is frustrating because you think, I mean, what's, what's, what's a more secure job? Than with the federal government. Democrats are planning to vote on a funding bill today. Now, the last congressional stalemate lasted 35 days between 2018 and 2019. It was the longest shutdown in history. We're live in the news center, Jan Carabao, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Jan. Well, if you love coffee,